Hi everyone! In this video, we will discuss on the Greeks of several exotic options and show that for some of them, such as digital or barrier options, it can be difficult and expensive to hedge the risk dynamically. The Greeks indicate how an option or a portfolio of options is exposed to a given source of risk and they can be used to manage this risk. The directional risk is measured by the delta and it can be hedged by purchasing or selling the underlying asset or future forward contracts on it. Other risks, such as Vega Gamma, can be managed by buying or selling other options. When no closed form solution is available for the Greeks, which is often the case, we can approximate them by finite difference. For example, with P the price of an option in the Black Scholes framework, which is a function of time t, the underlying asset price S, the implied volatility sigma, and the risk free interest rate R. The delta or the vega can be estimated by central differences, while the gamma can be estimated by second order central difference. It is one thing to be able to price an option, it is another thing to be able to hedge it and to manage its risks. For Vanilla options, we know that it becomes more complicated to hedge dynamically the delta of an option close to the money when we get closer to expiry as the delta becomes more and more digital. It is equal to zero when it is out of the money and equal to minus one when it is in the money for a put option. For exotic options, it depends on the type of option we consider. Typically, Asian options are easier to delta hedge than Vanilla options when we get closer to expiry, as the payoff becomes more certain as it is a function of the average of the price. It is the opposite for a digital option or a barrier option. The payoff of a digital has a discontinuity around the strike price. For a digital put, it is equal to 1 below the strike and equal to 0 above. As a consequence, the delta will tend to minus infinity at the strike price when the time to expiry tends to zero. A barrier option, in this example a down and out put option, has a discontinuity at the barrier level, with important changes of the delta when the asset price gets closer to the barrier level, increasing the probability that the option will be deactivated. The gamma of the option, which measures the sensitivity of the delta to the stock price, changes sign, which makes it difficult to manage. It is positive when the stock price is far from the barrier level, the option is quite similar to a vanilla put option, but when the stock price gets closer to the barrier level, it becomes more likely that the option will be deactivated and the gamma becomes negative, with very negative values when the option is close to expire. So it can be very complex to hedge the risk of such options dynamically with potentially very important orders to be executed in a short period of time. In the example seen before, the trader would have to sell a very large number of stocks to delta hedge the down and out put option if the asset price is close to the barrier level, and he would have to repurchase this quantity if the barrier is reached. This could lead to trading losses, and it could also become very expensive to hedge such options dynamically when taking into account transaction cost. There can be very important movements of the delta, and it may require very regular rebalancing. Static replication is an alternative to consider, and we will look at different ways to do that in the next videos. As an exercise, similarly to what has been done before for the down and out put option, plot the delta and gamma of a down and in put option for different time to expiry with the following parameters. For that, you can reuse the closed form solution for the price as seen in a previous video and estimate the Greeks by finite differences. Thank you for your time.